I wanted to show you how to move blogs from one Squarespace website to another. This is something that people are trying to do pretty often as they're upgrading their sites from 7.0 to 7.1. You could also do this within 7.0 sites or within 7.1 sites, but in this example, I'm going to move a blog from an older 7.0 site to a new 7.1 site. So here I am, if we click on the help menu here, you'll see that this is the ohm template from the Montauk family in version 7.0. And here we're going to move the news or blog from this 7.0 site to our 7.1 site. And you can see this is the 7.1 site with this colorful background. So once you have installed the Square Website Tools extension to Chrome, you'll see it appear here in your extension. So it has a little green box and mine has a blue label that says it's disabled. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So to move the blog, you're going to want to both enable the extension and enable UI tweaks. Once that's done, you're gonna to want to go ahead and refresh both of your Squarespace websites just to make sure that the extension is live on both of those sites. So let's go to our old site. You can see here I've got some uh, pages, injections, custom CSS site styles. These are like quick navs that the extension adds. So I know the extension's live here. Also see them here. I'm gonna go into the pages menu on both sites. And first, I'm going to grab this news blog, so you can see it's a blog with the A here, and I'm going to move it to the 7.1 site. So I'm going to roll over the news blog. Let's just take a peek at it here. So, yep, looks good. There are three posts. I'm going to roll over that, and if I go to the right where there's a little arrow with a circle around it, I'm going to click Get Collection Data. And this was a short blog with only three posts, so this happens pretty quickly. If you have a lot of posts, go ahead and get that collection data, go do something else, and come back later. Sometimes it can take a while. But this one was quick. I only have a few posts. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go over to my new site. I'm here in the Pages menu, and I'm going to click again on the Chrome extension and click create from data. Now, if I wanted to create it in the not linked section instead of my main navigation, I could hold down shift, but I don't mind if it puts it in my main navigation because this site is not live. So here it's gonna ask me what type of blog I want to add this to you. So I'm just gonna do a basic grid blog. You can choose whichever, and you can also change this later. So it doesn't really matter. And then I'll click confirm. And you can see here that uh, it's giving me a countdown of how many posts it's moved. It's done two of the three so far, and it is almost done. It's moving the third, and we're done. So now I have my news page with my three posts here. So let's go back and click on, oh, sorry, that was the original blog for this. I'm looking at news, and let's get this out of the way so you can see that every post and its content was moved over. If you wanna make changes to the post layout or the blog layout, you can do that just like with any blog once it's inside of 7.1. Now, one thing you want to be aware of, if, for example, this 7.1 website had a blog already, and if we look at the blog, we'll see that the URL slug was slash blog. If we had moved over a blog with that same URL slug, it will have changed your URL slug to something else. So if you are doing URL redirects, you may want to just take note of that and keep that in mind. This one had a different URL slug. It was news-om, so it preserved that from the old site. So unless you have a conflicting URL slug, it will preserve it, but if it's conflicting, it's going to append some additional information to your slug. So you may wanna update that or just note that for URL redirects. All right, so we have moved over our blog. Now you can also move pages. So for example, if I wanted to move this about page over, I could do the same thing. Get collection data, okay. And then let's go back to the pages menu in 7.1. There's not an, 
about page here already, so I don't have to worry about slugs. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create this about page in my main navigation. And there it is. And so you'll see that all of the styles from this site are automatically applied, but it brings over all your images and content. So it makes your life so much easier. This is a plugin that I use really frequently in my business, and I hope that you find it useful as well.